Hey guys, Jeremiah with Steps Pressure Washing and More. Out here in Andrew, North Carolina, we are actually going to be going out and doing some work today. I'm going to take you along with me. I've got a driveway here in Andrew, and then I have a gutter cleaning out in Clayton to finish off the day. We are supposed to get some rain in a little while, and it's a little chilly. I don't really feel like working in the rain, so we're getting an earlier than normal start. So I'm going to spin you around here, show you what we're taking along with us, but uh, it's going to be a pretty standard day. Alrighty, so we've got our pressure washing rig all set up. You know, we've got our 100 foot of uh, water hose coming in from the house, from the customer's water, 200 feet of pressure hose, and that's going to be more than enough for what we need today just to get to the driveway and back. I've got my mix tank, which we're not going to be using today. I've got our 50 gallon gravity fed uh, buffer tank, 4 gallon per minute, 4,000 psi. Uh, pressure Pro with a Kohler engine Comet pump. Got a couple of uh, five gallon bleach tanks right over here. Got the 24 up on the ladder rack, 16 in the bed of the truck. We've got the ladder stabilizer, Husqvarna leaf blower. I've got the Husqvarna leaf blower attachments in our toolbox. Right here, this is our Whisper Wash Ultra Clean. Uh, you know, spare tire, we always take that when we take the trailer. Got a five gallon bucket, which is going to do most of the heavy lifting, our extender reach, and a gutter tool that is currently trapped underneath the uh, whisper wash. So let's get on out there, let's get it clean. All right, we are out here on house number one. This is just a driveway clean. I've got my whisper wash, my pressure gun set up over here my DN10 ball valve set up so I can switch between the two. This is definitely needing a little bit of attention, but it's gonna come out looking great by the time we're done. Coming over here to the trailer, I uh, actually busted my low pressure hose. It is at a weird pinch point on the hose reel. I'll take you over here and show you what's going on. So it is not completely stopping the flow of water, but we are getting less than ideal amounts of water into the tank. And so this is gonna need to get changed out today. I think I'm gonna be able to do the job today without really messing with this, but this is definitely gonna be a today fix. All right, so far so good. Getting this uh, driveway cleaned up. We've got about four panels done and quite a bit left to go, but you can see just the stark contrast here between where we have washed. This is not, no post treatment yet, so this is actually going to get even lighter. Uh, you can see here where I kind of came over onto this next block. And we are ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and knock out this sidewalk. I've been keeping an eye on that buffer tank up there, and we are staying quite full, so I'm not worried at all about running out of water. Um, so I'm just going to crank this out.
All right, so I did two different techniques on this bottom part of the driveway. Right here, I did the normal side-to-side -side horizontal path that I generally take. Then I started doing the circle method right down here. Uh, just because I'm noticing a lot of striping on this one, the SH is going to get rid of most of that, but let's see how this rinses down here in the uh, circle technique. Because from what I'm seeing, I'm not seeing any striping. I feel like I'm seeing a better clean in general. It's definitely more time consuming. It is definitely more wear and tear on my shoulders. But I am really seeing a huge difference just in the consistency of color here immediately after washing and most likely going to be a bit more even even after the post treatment so I'm actually going to head up I'm going to do some circles up higher to kind of get rid of some of that striping because uh, I'm just really not looking to leave anything behind today I want to leave it as good as I can and this one's going a little bit faster than what I was anticipating, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little extra work so that the finished product is a little nicer. But I'm definitely seeing a few areas where my, uh, my circle did not quite clean it, uh, and I definitely am noticing with the circle method, I'm cleaning the same spot two, three, four times. So it's definitely something that I may consider. Uh, I definitely want to do a side-by-side -side trial, not on a customer's house, before I uh, make a determination on switching over. So I want to make sure that the finished product is better than what I'm leaving with the horizontal stripes. This is a very dirty driveway. I'd say probably close to 10 years since it's last clean, if I had to guess. And I'm really excited and I can't wait to hear the customer's reaction when they take a look at it. Alrighty, here we go. This is the finished product. It is still drying from the post treatment, but I'm really not seeing a huge difference from where I did my stripes, where I did my circles. So I feel like I should uh, do a little bit more of a exact test, but for right now, this is where we are. All right, I'm gonna go clean some gutters. Alrighty, out at house number two. And we are looking at a pretty extensive gutter line. And it kind of goes all the way around the house, all the way around these porches, but not a whole lot of tree cover around it. So we're gonna get up there, I'm gonna check out and see what's going on. Uh, definitely a clog right up here in this corner, stuff's growing out of it. So I'm gonna have to go on up here and get that. Pretty level roof, so I'm gonna go change into my vans. Get up there and see what I can do with the leaf blower. And we'll get it done. Around here, pretty much gutters on every bit of this house. They did a great job when they were looking to divert the water away from the home because there really is no point that does not have this water getting diverted. So we'll get up there, take a look around, and see what's up. All right, so now we're on up here. I'm looking around, and this is very wet, very muddy. This is all crepe myrtle. 
and I just don't want to blow this all over the front porch. So I'm going to do this all by hand, bucket and a stick. Then I'm going to come along with the leaf blower and I'm going to get all the small debris out, but I just don't want to make a mess. It's going to take me longer to clean up than it would just to scoop these gutters out. Alrighty, so I'm here on the back side of the house and it is a much different story. Looking at clean gutters all the way around. Definitely some debris back here along this edge. This is dry enough that I can use the leaf blower. And from here, I can see into that gutter on the far side. And I can see that it is just small debris, so I'm going to be using the leaf blower all the way over there. And hopefully wrapping this up pretty quick. Alright, so I have a little bit of water left in the tank. I spoke from that's from the last house we were at. I just spoke to the customer about doing their skylights. They are on board with it. Um, I charged them the while we're here price, so they were really on board with it. So I'm going to run up there real quick while I have the ladder out, scrub these down, give them a good rinse off, and head out. Uh, the customer did state that they are having some leaking issues with their skylights, so we are going to be using pretty much no pressure. I'm going to use the M5 downstream nozzle just to do my rinsing. Um, and, you know, it's not hooked up to any soap or anything, so it's just going to... It's just going to give it a good rinse. All right, let's get up there. All right, so here are the skylights. They're not super bad, but they definitely have a good bit of algae built up on them. Just going to open this up and get a little sunlight flowing in. There you go, nice and clean. Not much sunlight coming in on it today, but that actually helps me with it not drying super fast. So I am all done for the day. I'm home now. I'm going to do a little bit of work to this. Went ahead and cut this off right where it was split. Oh, it's going to be a little easier to get off. I've got a quick connect that I want to hook up to here, and I've got some uh, Flexzilla, aka Kinkzilla. Uh, that I've been carrying around with me as my spare hose just in case I needed it. So that is here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this taken off, get some thread tape going, and uh, hook up a quick connector so that I can be done for the day. There we go, got the quick connect installed. Uh, it was a little bit difficult getting the old hose off, but uh, I was able to find a tool in my garage that came from something that we built at some point so when your wife says what do we need all these tools for is for random things like this that you just need one more of the same size so uh, you can always say that uh, <laughs> there will always be a use for that tool we must keep it forever so I've got the quick connect installed on the inside of the uh, low pressure cox reel and I'm just going to hook this right on up. And we're going to give that a try for the next uh, couple weeks and see how it goes. I just want to make sure that I'm getting enough flow out of it. I've always worried that the quick connect is going to kind of bottleneck on me. So if I'm not getting the flow I want, I might have to do the old-fashioned way and do a, a very arduous process of screwing this directly in. But we'll see. All right, so there it is, finished product, and I am, uh, it's just now starting to rain, so I'm going to back this on into the garage, get everything packed up, and be done. All right, y'all be safe out there.